It's, it's deranged, deranged royal fame. They'll act crazy all day. They'll apologize for the fail, but still scream and wail. It's deranged royal fame. Yeah. Remember that one time I said, Honestly, I should have grabbed a cup of tea, yet here we sit, tealess and depressed. Well, I went to go grab some milk from the fridge. No milk, only sadness. Howdy y'all, it's deranged Royal Faye. They'll act crazy all day. And they'll apologize for the fail that's so screaming. Well, it's deranged Royal Faye. Hey, that's me. Um, <laughs> the madness isn't kicking in from the woods. I've always been crazy. Uh, oh my god, though. Like, I know what colors I want to do next. Because uh, currently it's just the rainbow fading. Um, but next I want to do, like, uh, mostly the green. Like, I'll do, like, a bit of teal on top and then green to yellow fade because this looks so good. I love the way the greens fade in my head. It's very merful. And then on this side, I'll put some like purple on the tips. Maybe a reddish violet, maybe some blue. The very like merfolk looking, you know, like a merman or a mermaid or a merfolk, whatever the fuck. If you guys didn't know, I love milk. I really like milk. Like I, I love like whole milk especially. I'm not joking. This isn't like a joke. This isn't like a dirty, dirty and ton, dirty and tundra, double and tundra, a dirt, dirty joke. I like milk. I really like whole milk. Um, I'm a filthy carnival and a milk drinker. Oh, uh, and so last year I was a self-proclaimed milk thief. I would go into the dining hall and like steal little cartons of milk. I wasn't really stealing. Like they were actually eager to get rid of them. So I usually in the mornings here this year, uh, cause we actually have milk jugs instead of those little cartons you know those are like little lunch lunch cafeteria cartons that's what we had last year but now we actually have like bottles so every morning i go and get myself some milk for some cereal maybe some tea things like that and usually there is like six plus bottles in there bottles bottles yeah uh containers in there at once there were none. There's no milk right now. <laughs> yes, I'm having a month of dilemma from lack of milk. This is why you guys get an update because I'm sad that I, I am outraged that there is no milk. Uh, <laughs> that aside, my crazy ramblings aside, I mean, this is nothing but crazy ramblings, right? That's why I had to run away from the asylum. I mean, look at this beautiful outdoors that I'm in now. It is absolutely uh, gorgeous. I also got some more banana slug friends, so that's cool. Also, oh my god, I totally didn't think to record it when I did them. I did some mending beans. I don't have an iron yet, so I can't actually finalize them, but I have them together. I've never done mending beans, pearl beads, what the frick frack you want to call them? Uh, before this and so I'm quite proud of the one I did from scratch because the other one I had like a blueprint for I had the old Boomin so junior it's not from scratch I mean what I can do is take them apart and put them back together again because I like I like torturing myself right if you guys want me to do that uh, comment below be like torture yourself take them apart and put them back together for a video do it, Faye. Do it, Royal. Go for it. Do it. <laughs> I'm sure if anyone is nearby who could hear me or is walking by or is hearing me yelling at my camera, there's going to be like, what's wrong? What the fuck is wrong with that little fairy? What is wrong with the little fruit? Um, our paychecks were hella late. Uh, hella late. We were supposed to be paid on Friday and didn't come until Monday. So, that's splendid. That's awesome. I had payments to make, but luckily they could wait a bit. But yeah, so, great. Fucking fantastic. Ooh, I like not getting paid. Everyone was pretty peeved. I was more mildly annoyed. It sucked, but like, I get it. Shit happens. But yeah, so we got paid late. Um, a friend I made was from Scotland. Um... He's, he's obviously gay, um, but like with a Scottish accent, you know, uh, when he's got like that, he doesn't have a list, but he does have like the whole 
you know, kind of posture and stuff. Is he you now? Um, I don't mean that in any negative context or connotation. It's just more of like he's visibly queer and they put him in the most homophobic catcalling village. So he's very unhappy and he wants to leave. We're hoping he can get into the village of the youngest boys. This is this double standard that female counselors can go, like, be counselors for male villages and male counselors can't do that for female? And I, I get why. I do. It doesn't mean I have to like it. I hate it. We're not in that perfect world where that would be okay. And it makes me really wonder, like, trans women, if they could only be in the male villages. I know we've had non-binary and trans men here. But I feel like, if so, like, there's been less issues leading them into the male villages. But it makes me wonder about, like, what would happen if a trans woman camper came here, or trans girl? Would we let her go over there? If we had a non-binary AMAP, would they have to be forced to stay in the male village? Uh, last year, it sounds like there was a trans man in the oldest boy village, or the second oldest. And because they were so worried about his safety, they had to move him to the girls' village. Boys will be boys. Fuck that. Fuck that. Sorry. <laughs> Shake the camera off your hatred of homophobia. Fuck that. Or not just homophobia. Actually, in the sense, it's sexism. And toxic masculinity. Because fuck that, too. Fuck homophobia. Fuck sexism. Fuck toxic masculinity. Fuck rape culture. And fuck transphobia. And fuck racism. Fuck a lot of things. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> go, I would say go fuck me, but I don't want that. No, thank you. I'm good. I'll pass. I'll never pass. Because I'm... Tra Bad trans jokes. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, as always, there's drama. There's dating. There's people having sex. There's, there's uh, people being relocated because they're like oh no you can't do this position like one person who was originally in the village uh, as a counselor got moved to maintenance because he uh he made some kids cry but yeah stuff happens shit happens things go on my replacement for laundry days is in suit so as bad as last year but it's still not like I i'm just very particular i feel like i wouldn't be happy no matter who <laughs> unless it was a clone of me there's some stuff that happened of Cappy where I don't remember what I said in the last video I made, but I was talking about how, like, uh, there was an incident where I kind of assumed that he'd want to hang out, but he made other plans, and so it bothered me. And then the next week, we made plans. Like, he asked me, and when I showed up, and I know she wasn't asking him on a call, I was like, oh, should I let you have a me day? He's like, oh, no, I'm gaming with friend. And I was like, oh, okay. I uh, thought we had plans, but I guess. And he was like, wait, I'm confused. I'm like, you're confused. You're confused. You asked me, buddy. Uh, I told him, like, I'm not upset it's just whatever you know and I was actually like I just I did get upset of course but it's just like it was just tired of him flaking on me like in this case it wasn't the first time he did something kind of like this one um but and like yeah you can't compare it to the one that was a week before leak before that's on me I'll take credit for that one I assumed that one, he literally asked me. He asked me out and then counseled on me because he forgot. And in the past, when he's done something like this, he's like, oh, I'm going to start putting stuff in the calendar. Fucking do it then. Skeeter's trying to eat me. But yeah, so like the next day, I kind of just, I told him, like, have a good rest of your weekend and then just left kind of thing. And the next day when I finally got up there and he finally texted me after a while of silence, he was like, hey, I thought you wanted some space because, you know, and da, da, da. And I eventually kind of respond like, I just kind of need that reminder of can't trust people. And, you know, that I'm just going to keep getting betrayed or forgotten or pushed aside by people I thought I care about or care about me. So, yeah. Um, we have been hanging out on my 
Tuesdays off. Wednesdays are D&D &D day, except for the first two times I could have done it, D&D &D got canceled. And then he went off and did something else with someone else kind of thing. And that's like, okay, I get it. You don't owe me my time. You don't owe me your time. But it's still kind of sucked that he didn't think like hey you want to chill with me and friend or do you want to chill together i guess he's figuring oh because we already had one day which is fine like i said it's fair he doesn't owe me anything it just kind of sucks but at least i had a good time this last wednesday uh, i got to do some like mario party and board game games and whatnot with, with co-workers it was nice so um, I've slightly moved. Uh, I went and helped a co-worker with some stuff and now I'm back. And the kids are probably going to be waking up soon and da 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 so I have to be very careful about what I say and have a limited time. So um, I got me some milk. This is cereal in here. I use this for cereals and soup because it looks like I've hit a new low, but nah, but I'm just resourceful. I'll have some chocolate. I'll have some tea later. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to kind of have, you know, some gaming and stuff with friends because it's been a while. Once again, a good amount of time has passed, and oh my god, so I'm an Oompa Loompa. Why am I so orange? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I ate out of that bug from before, and now I finished that cereal, and I was just chatting with someone, a co worker. <sighs> but yeah, so I've been trying to be good with Cappy, if not making more time or giving more time than sorry i got an itch than he asked for it'd be one thing if he like asked me to get that time but it's like why should i keep putting in this effort that he's not putting in back and trying to be good about that because the bpd part of my brain's like fp you must bend over backwards for fp you must dedicate what if fp maybe has time for you you should make sure you have time open all the time so that if fp acts to hang out you can hang out and that's incredibly bad of me to do. Bad for myself, mostly, but also kind of bad for FP, because then it's like I have unrealistic expectations for the FP. So, in regards to the arts and crafty thing, arts and crafty, because crafty Wednesday, um, what I might do is just show you guys, show you, show you guys me ironing uh, the mending beads, and then um, show me designing the other ones or putting together the other ones. We'll see. We'll see. Or once again, if you guys want, comment below. Torture yourself. Torture yourself. Like, favorite, and subscribe if you want me to torture myself and tear apart. <laughs> if I get one like on this video, I'm going to tear apart the mending feed designs that were done. <laughs> and then put them back um, that being said, I do, did make a Yonberry uh, mending bead. And so she's currently holding an axe. And it's going to be bloody. Uh, if I put the pictures, those are placeholder colors. I'm waiting for the rest of the colors to show up with my iron but i'm probably going to have the axe made separately if i even make it at all so yeah we'll see we'll see what happens with that we'll see what happens with everything there were covid cases there were 25 kids that tested positive for covid last session and then we had a good a good handful of staff that has had covid now but we have a under we have it under wraps now there are so many mosquitoes i'm gonna stand up I'm going to move around because mosquitoes don't like it when you move around. But yeah, so there were a few staff that had it. Uh, we have it under, we have it contained now at this point in time. So that's awesome. That's good. Let's keep it that way. Um, we, we're quarantining staff in this one area. And so I've been, I brought them like laundry bags and food and snacks and stuff. So yeah, every little thing makes them feel a little better. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. If I remember anything else I want to put in here while I'm editing, I will do that later because I can record whenever. These are going to be more than me pre-recorded. And look how good that green looks. That is so nice. I know that's narcissistic, but I'm really liking it. You know, let me have some self-love every now and then because I don't love myself at all. <laughs> all right, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a gay day. Well, the quad. That just stayed. Yet, yet you wasted, wasted yet another day. day. Their videos are a bore, but they've got, got lots more in store. It's deranged. Royal, Royal Faye. Yeah.